Good evening. Welcome to another edition of Live from the History Center. I'm Gary Rogers, and we're coming to you from the Oakmont History Center on Allegheny River Boulevard in Oakmont. Now, if you were with us two weeks ago, we did a broadcast, and we showed you the exhibit room out in the front. So tonight, we'd like to give you a tour of what we call our reading room or our library. So I'm going to show you a couple of things around here and what we have to offer. Once again, if you have any questions, you can post it on Facebook and uh, we have somebody monitoring and I'll try to answer the question for you. But again, as I said, this is what we call our reading room. And this is our collection of books here. You can see this shelf and this shelf and the one in the center. But these binders here are all Oakmont topics and most of them are, pic are pictures. So we have them categorized by topic. So if you're doing a, any type of research, uh, you can come down here and look at our picture collection. Uh, for example, we have the Oakmont Police Department, we have the Oakmont Fire Department, the Oakmont Country Club, uh, St. Patrick's Day Flood of 1936, Oakmont Houses and Buildings, this is down by the river, which is a history of Oakmont near the river. Uh, this is one of my favorites because I'm a car person. This is Oakmont Car Dealers, and it's ads and information on car dealers from 1910 up through the present day that were all located here in Oakmont. And then this cabinet here uh, contains a collection of local history books. And these books are books that were donated and we have a little uh, library for the Historical Society. So if any member wants to read a book, you can come down here and, and check out a book. And as I said, most of them all deal with local history or U.S. history. And we have this available. Again, it's a, it's a good resource, resource for research. And just if you want to read up on local history, you can, you can do that. Uh, this shelf here is our family history. These binders are all sorted by family name. So uh, any genealogists who are doing some research, we have binders on uh, old Oakmont families here. You can see uh, the Thomas Hunter family, uh, the Caleb Lee, the Ahrensbergs, just the Bright family, the Leffler, Rupert, a lot of Oakmont names are here. And we also have one that we're, uh, the, this is what we call our Italian immigrant uh, project. And these are, um, records of all the Italian immigrants who settled in Oakmont. So it's very helpful for people who are researching their family history. So as I said, we have a lot of good resources in this room, but the theme is the Oakmont School District. And on the wall here, uh, we have uh, pictures of our old schools. And the very first school is this school here. This was built in 1871. And it was built shortly after the borough of Verona was incorporated. Now, as you know, uh, Oakmont was originally a part of Verona. We were considered the second ward of Verona. And right after the town was incorporated, they built a school in the second ward. And this is the school. It was an elementary school, grade school. It served the community from 1871 up until 1893, when they built a new school over on the corner of 5th and Pennsylvania. And that's the old Oakmont Public School that served the community from 1893 until 1852. And I'm sure many people remember the old Memorial School that was the elementary school up through 1978. It's now an apartment building. And across the street was the old high school. This was built in 1912. And it was the old Oakmont High School, and then in the early 60s, it was converted to the elementary school and known as Gilmore School. So that's just a brief update. We have pictures of all the schools. We have the old 10th Street School. What's interesting is uh, this first school, built in 1871, is still standing. It has since been converted to an apartment building. Now, the roof line has changed, and... The brick has been covered over, but the house is now at 430 College Avenue, and um, it's still still standing. Uh, one other interesting fact about that is College Avenue was so named because of the school on the street. Uh, that school was built when they were laying out the streets here in Oakmont, 
and because the school was late, uh, located on that street, they named it College Avenue. And that's one of the reasons it's different from the other streets that run up the hill, the state streets, Maryland, Delaware, Pennsylvania, Virginia. College Avenue is so named because of the school. Uh, we have this collection here. This is just a lot of uh, memorabilia from the old school. Of course, one of the things we're proud of is the old uh, Oakmont High School marching band bass drum. And this probably dates back to the 1940s. Uh, we've looked it up in the old yearbooks and we can find that lettering and, and so it goes back to the 1940s. What's interesting, if you look here, anybody that went, lived in Oakmont, you know the old school colors were black and red. However, you can see this, this is green and white. Back in the 50s, 40s, 50s, up into the 60s, the junior high school had their own colors. Uh, the junior high colors were green and white. So that's why you see these letters and hats and things. Even though it's Oakmont, the uh, colors are different from the high school colors. What's so great about the town of Oakmont is we have people that come in here and they'll look around and, and they'll say, you know, I have something at home that I think you might be interested in. Well, we had a visitor that came in and saw the picture of the old uh, elementary school that was on Fifth in Pennsylvania, and she said, you know, I have one of the desks from that school. Would you want it? And uh, of course. So um, she went home and uh, donated the desk. So we actually have a desk from the old Oakmont Elementary School. It was donated by Mr. and Mrs. Zoller, who had the desk in their, in their uh, basement. Schools have a lot of traditions, and one of the traditions in Oakmont, uh, this came in, and we weren't really sure what it was all about. It was a shovel, and it had the different classes painted on the shovel. And so we knew it had something to do with the shovel being passed from one class to another, but we weren't sure what it was all about. Well, we eventually uh, went through a yearbook, and this is the 1925 uh, Oakmont High School yearbook. And we found a picture, and here we have a senior uh, holding a shovel. And so we thought, that must have something to do with our shovel. And sure enough, on the second page, it explains the tradition of how the passing of the shovel started. And they wrote a little poem that said, Dig that well that may be deeper, dig that house that may be built, dig that road that may be wider, dig dig that or digging be felt. And I guess that was their motto when you graduate, uh, dig your life and, and build things. But uh, it, it just shows how, you know, this stuff comes in and, and you know, we, we look around and we find out what it's all about and, and, and it's a tradition that, that's very unique here to Oakmont. Another tradition is if anybody attended the old high school on 5th Street or the old Gilmore School, there was a wall behind the school. And if you look, um, you probably remember that each year before the cl senior class graduated, they would paint their class year on that back wall. And this is a picture of all the uh, classes on the wall that was behind Gilmore School, which was the high school back then. It starts with 1948, uh, 49, 50, 51, and 52. And they only had so much space, so what did they would do when they got to the end? They would go to the other side and paint over the oldest class. And, and repeat the uh, paintings across there. We're very proud of this collection. This is our yearbook collection. We have a copy of every yearbook uh, from Oakmont, uh, from the first one in 1917 up through the last one in 1971. And these are a great resource, not only when you're researching um, Oakmont people, but also if you're researching Oakmont businesses, uh, because a lot of the businesses purchased ads in the back. So as a result, we can see businesses that were here in Oakmont that are no longer here. And this is a great way to research some of the old uh, companies and businesses that were located here in Oakmont. So this is a real nice collection, a lot of good information. As I said, we have uh, the Oakmont yearbooks. Right now, we're trying to collect the Riverview yearbooks. You would think that would be easy because they're newer, but the problem is a lot of people 
are not old that graduated from Riverview yet, so as a result, they're not cleaning out the attic and they're not throwing away the old Riverview yearbooks. So if anybody has any Riverview yearbooks that they would like to donate, we would take them. We're, we're always looking for those. But um, And again, here's some of the old uh, varsity sweaters. Here's a cheerleader's jacket from the Oakmont High School. Uh, this, this black jersey here, interesting story, this was donated... Uh, came into the History Center, and we tried to get an idea of what year it was from. So we looked in the old yearbooks, and we found the dark jerseys with the stripes on the side, and we pegged it back to 1958. So we looked in the picture, and we looked for number 68, and we found out that the gentleman who wore that jersey, uh, Mr. Grovey, lives in Alabama, and that's the jersey he wore when he played football here at Oakmont. Any questions? If anybody has any questions, uh, send us a post and we'll, we'll answer it as best that we can. Uh, the other thing that we're proud of, uh, you know, we, we have a lot of teachers that we like. We have favorite teachers from when we were in school. So we have what we call our teacher feature. And every, we change this up maybe every six months, but we take a different teacher that we had in school and we feature them. We give a background of their education, where they were from what they taught. And this, uh, we have Miss Virginia Kerr, who was a teacher here in Oakmont for many years. And I'm sure you're all familiar with the Kerr Museum. This was uh, Miss Kerr, who, who was a teacher there. And so we change this up every, every couple of months. But um, this is a nice room for research. If you ever uh, want any information, whether it be genealogical information, information on Oakmont businesses, Oakmont schools, or you just want to come down and look at old pictures. This is all old pictures here. Uh, we do have a lot of good information here. So once again, we thank you for tuning in, and we hope you enjoyed this edition of Live from the History Center. Thank you.